Last weekend, Revive an Island Breeze held a youth camp called Darren Camp. 28 students from Perth City, Geraldton, Mandra, and Caring had a great time. They learned who they are and who God is through sports, drama, and lots of other fun activities. I had an amazing time at Darren Camp and seeing how God really used me and just the way He was moving through the kids. I remember in, in my first session with the boys, uh, yeah, there was a lot of chaos and it was real challenging to, to be able to, to grab them and to get their concentration. But yeah, as, as, as I went home, that, as I went to sleep that night, I felt like God said to me to really show them love, show them His character, show them who He is. And um, yeah, um, from that day on, I started yeah, just really pursuing them, showing them His love, um, yeah, from little hugs to, to telling them how to, um, to wash dishes and stuff like that. And slowly, slowly I, I could see that um, their heart was softening from that first night where it was all crazy to, to like just really opening up to the, to the situations that they've been in in their life and what's going on. And I found out that all they need to know is, is, is that there's a God that cares for them, that, that, there's, that they just need someone to, to show them that love. And on the last night we had application and a kid by the name of Eli, yeah, he just really opened up. He started crying and um, the day after that he speaks to me and he's like, Randy, I know God is real. I felt him last night. And yeah, just really encouraged by those, those things because just seeing how God changed him yeah, dramatically from that first night of craziness to a time of being real vulnerable and knowing who God is and that he is real in his life. So it was amazing. This year, the focus of our mega cities ministry is Calcutta, India. In the last four weeks, we share the gospel with 1,447 people and 121 people got healed through prayer. And we minister to 958 people through healthcare and mercy ministries. God is moving in Calcutta, India. And here is Debra, who can tell us a little bit more about how you can join with us. Yes, God is moving in Calcutta and you can be a part of that. All teams are welcome. Anyone can join. Church teams, individuals, teams from other YWAM bases. There's a diversity of ministry opportunities in the city, especially for medical teams, uh, for intercession and for sports, but also performing arts, evangelism, music. We, anyone has a place in the city. Anyone is welcome. If you want to hear more about how you can join us, just check out our website, www megacities.org.au or email us at info at megacities.org.au. Thank you. This week we have a seminar called Word by Heart and Paul Childers is teaching on reimagining and memorizing scripture as well as retelling stories. Okay, so Word by Heart uh, does two things. We train people to be able to learn the stories about Jesus in the words of the Bible uh, so that ordinary people uh, can actually memorize a whole gospel, if you can believe that. Learn a whole gospel by heart. It's possible. The oldest one was 70 and the youngest one 14. That's actually done that. To be able to know a whole gospel is a treasure and a blessing for many Christians. The second thing we do is then we want to go around and tell these stories in a way in universities or in a theater or in a church youth group or even around a kitchen table. Tell these stories in a way that people realize that really happened. And so that's what Word by Heart does. You can find us at www.wordbyheart.org. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe on YouTube. 안녕히 계세요. 다시 만나요.